Now, with the unemployment rate in Connecticut is the lowest it's been since December of 2008. The rate is still one of the highest in the nation. Finding a job can be a real tough process, whether you are unemployed or you have a job and you might be looking for a better one. With me this morning is John Madigan, President and CEO of Executive Talent Services in West Hartford, to talk about the do's and don'ts of finding a job. John, your business is called uh, Career Concierge. I kind of like that because when you go to a concierge, it's kind of one-stop shopping. Right. They set everything up for you. Is that kind of what your business does? It sort of does. That's just one of the services. Mm -hmm. But the career concierge is really designed for the person, originally designed for the person that was employed mm -hmm. who wanted to make a move. But they probably didn't know how to do it or they didn't have time. I mean, you can imagine like working a job like yours all day mm -hmm. long and then going home to a family and then, okay, at, you know, late at night they're on ladders or executing at trying to find the job. And so mm -hmm. it doesn't really work. And so they really need a partner to help them. And that's you guys. Yeah. And oh, then where do you start, John? So we usually start, you know, getting the person uh, into their heads, like, what's their exit statement? So why are they on the market? Mm -hmm. Why do so, they want to leave their current job? So either they're going to leave their current job or if they had already lost their job and they're unemployed. So they need a really concise, credible, logical statement that says, here's why I'm on the market. And most people don't have that, mm -hmm. and they get all jammed up. So somebody asks them, how about, how about, how about, you know. Well, right. I mean, you want to yeah. have that elevator speech, right? Absolutely. Have that absolutely. prepared if That's you're right. in a situation where you need to uh, give the pitch. Uh, you have to have the right materials, you say. What do you mean by that? So there, there's a variety of tools that really help people. Um, you know, navigate this process. Mm -hmm. so the first is the exit statement. The other, uh, most people know a resume and they really do need help. I mean, even people that have had resumes professionally done often, they're not in the best of shape. Mm -hmm. And then they usually will need other tools like something called a two minute drill. You know, how are they going to answer the question? Tell me about yourself and also a, a networking profile. So let's talk a little bit about the resume. Yes. Um, a lot of people question if you need that objective on the top of the mm -hmm. page. What do you say with that? Okay, so I, I wouldn't have an objective, but there's, mm -hmm. a, there's a professional summary that should be at the top. And sometimes people think that, oh, it's just fashionable to have it. So it's not, it's not about the mechanics of the resume mm -hmm. per se, right? I think the summary really is it's a marketing piece. So I like to have people start with, so when somebody reads your resume and puts it down, what do you want them to be thinking about you? What impressions do you want them to have? You know, what conclusions mm -hmm. should they draw? And so the summary should really start that process. You should start to tell the person, here's how you should view me. Probably so shouldn't be modest either, right? <laughs> you right, might, right. I mean, you, the, the employer might not even look towards the end of the resume. Right. That might be your first and only opportunity. Oh, you're absolutely right. And so you, you have to start strong, right? And then everything, every, the rest of the resume should support that. So, and if, if you don't mind, a, a big part that I think people miss is they write their resume in activity language. Mm -hmm. So initiated this, developed that, which you know on the surface sounds good, but most people are looking for the results of what you've done. So if you if you did that, you know what impact did you have? You know, did you lower costs? Did you uh, improve customer service? Did you know? What was the impact of what you did? Because that's what they're looking for. Well, you can for. come up with great adjectives too, right? To right, sugarcoat yeah. things. Yeah, right. That's right. Yeah, lots um, of people do. Let's talk about uh, networking. It's kind yeah. of a new term mm. these days, and uh, it's very popular. What What is networking? They have networking events. Right. <laughs> yeah. So when I talk about networking, I really talk about the the individual face to face meetings that people have. Um, that's really purposeful. Mm -hmm. So. Um, I think a mistake people make often in networking is that they will get connected with somebody, mm -hmm. but then they won't really manage that interaction very well. Um, so, for example, people have come and networked with, I have, I have tons of people network to me. And a lot of times they'll show up and it's a very unstructured conversation, mm -hmm. you know, or because they're not really sure like what they're supposed to be getting out of it, you know, or they'll show up and they're like, okay, go ahead and interview me. It's like, well, no, you asked for the meeting. You should be managing this. Right. So you come up with the, uh, the conversation topics, right? right? So we help them really set a structure like, you know, how do they do that? And most people that they'll network with want to help them. They mm -hmm. just, they don't know how either. So you have to sort of help them help you. Well, let's, let's bring everybody into a networking situation. Yeah. What would be your first step? Small talk, kind of make it conversational, or do you get right to the nitty gritty and, and the job that you want? Well, normally it's a, you know, you've, you've been referred to the person by somebody else. Mm -hmm. So that's how the process works. And so, you know, you first thank them for their time. You know, you mentioned the fact that so-and-so so suggested they had contacted them. But you really should, I think there's really just two agenda items for good networking. And the first is you should be able to say, um, I'd like to tell you a little bit about my background so you have a really good sense of what I'm capable of and mm -hmm. what I'm interested in. And then I'd like to get your advice and suggestions about people I should be in touch with, opportunities you might be aware of on the marketplace, or any employers you think I should be targeting. John, that is a great opening yeah. line. <laughs> That's really good. In fact, uh, let's put some information up on the screen because yeah. we have some mistakes that people make right. when it comes to networking. And uh, the first one here is they don't manage the interview very well. We right. talked about we that. We just talked about that, yep. Uh, and then the other one, we were talking about uh, making the 
good contact and of course uh, having the good story. Yeah, so I, so I, I always tell people they have a, a, a no good story. And not that their story is no good, <laughs> but the fact that they don't really have the, the, the two minute drill. In other words, if you're going to talk to somebody about your background, you should really have that well conceived. Right? Mm -hmm. And what most people don't realize is they have a lot more um, effect, they have more, uh, they can influence the process a lot more than they think, right, in terms of the impressions you have by how they construct that story. Like, you know, it, it's really mine. I can yeah. tell you whatever I want to tell. So, so the, you have to have a really good story. And the other one is people tend to really screen who they think would be a good contact. Hmm. So they think they have to shoot for the highest person or some executive, and, and they don't. You, don't. you never know who's going to put you in the chair with the person that's got the authority to hire you. There you go. And John, where can we find your book, Success Simplified? So actually, uh, people can, uh, can get to our website. It's available on the website. Um, you can order it from there, and uh, easy. Very good. John, yeah. thank you for being here. Thank you for the All advice. Right. Oh, and of course,